Google has joined Apple in promising to investigate a Saudi app that lets men control women's travel, as pressure from rights groups and international lawmakers builds on the tech giants. Google will review the app to determine if it is in line with its policies, a spokesman told the New York Times on Wednesday. It follows Apple CEO Tim Cook pledging to investigate. A Google spokesman confirmed that the company is assessing the app to determine if it is in accordance with its policies, the Times reported. Google and Apple have failed to respond to repeated requests for comment from Business Insider. Buy's sister website Insider revealed details about Absher earlier this month, and published criticism from human rights groups, which triggered U.S. politicians to call on the tech giants to rethink the app. Democratic Party Caucus Vice Chair Catherine Clark, from Massachusetts 5th District, tweeted, Absher is a patriarchal weapon, it allows Saudi men to track women, restrict their travel, and enable human rights violations. Representative Catherine Clark speaking in Congress. C-SPAN, YouTube. Kaylin Maloney, representing New York's 12th District, tweeted, An app available on Google, Apple's App Store helps Saudi Arabia enforce its guardianship system that doesn't allow women to travel without permission from a male guardian. No company should help with oppression of women, Maloney also encouraged the hashtag. The app lies in the face of the type of society you both claim to support and defend, Wyden wrote. American companies should not enable or facilitate the Saudi government's patriarchy, he said, calling the Saudi system of control over women abhorrent. On this Absher form, guardians can say where women can go, how long for, and which airports they can use. Absher before Wyden wrote to the CEOs, Human Rights Watch, Amnesty International, and women's rights activist Yasmin Mohammed were first to challenge Apple and Google. Apps like this one can facilitate human rights abuses, including discrimination against women, Rathna Begum, Middle East researcher for Human Rights Watch said. Read more, Q. And Google offer the Saudi government app Absher, which limits the freedom of women to travel. He added it was right for Amnesty and Human Rights Watch to call the tech giants to reconsider offering them. Australian Senator Eric Abbott's published a detailed press release condemning Google and Apple for hosting the app. This app is being used as a tool of oppression and to restrict the free movement of people in Saudi Arabia, the release said. Read more, Saudi Arabia runs a huge, sinister online database of women that men use to track them and stop them from running away. The UK government's Foreign and Commonwealth Office, FCO, would not condemn the app directly, but said it wants to see an end to the guardianship system in Saudi Arabia, which the app encourages a page on Absher where a guardian can see which permissions are active, and easily change them if needed. Absher and FCO spokesperson said, We continue to call for an end to the guardianship system to allow women to fully participate in Saudi society. Addressing the specific travel function on Absher, Renata Kunis, chairwoman of Germany's alliance, 90, the Greens Party, tweeted, Why do it Apple?